here we have several different types of suture scissors and bandage scissors. This particular type here is a bandage scissors that paramedics often use. They're very large and they have a round end so that you can put it under the bandage and it won't cut the skin accidentally. This is a smaller version and sometimes comes in disposable kits or kits that you can order from Amazon. Finally, you'll have some dissection scissors. These can be curved and they're most helpful if they are. Now we'll be looking at scalpels. These first two are surgical scalpels. You can buy these off of Amazon and other supply places, especially ones for veterinarians. This one comes with a protective plastic cover, and this one's retractable. It's my favorite. It takes up less room. This is not a scalpel. It's a sheetrock knife, and you'll see that it will function just like a scalpel if that's all you have. Techniques and tips how to use it are found in the prepper book. Also, we'll see this Exacto kit. It too is easy to find in most houses and works well if you're trying to make do while moving on to your bug out location. A needle driver is an instrument that you need if you're going to use one of these curved or semicircular needles. Basically, what you'll have to do is take a needle driver and a needle driver, you'll notice has no teeth or if they do have something, it'll be very fine seriations, and they're used to place down against the needle clamp into place, pull the needle out, and use it to start suturing wounds back together.